Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So a lot of stuff has gone down in the past 24 hours. So if you guys do not know, about seven days ago on my live stream, I had talked about how a lot of celebrities are switching up. You know, they're finding consciousness, they're finding politics, religion, etc. And so one of the celebrities that I talked about in there was not only Black China converting to Christianity, Brittany Runner being a super Muslim, the Tate brothers converting, converting to Islam, but I also talked about Little Dirk in that video as well. And I was basically stating that it's very interesting. You know, I understand that Little Dirk has been a Muslim for a while, but when has he ever prayed on camera? When does he really talk about his religion up until as of late? Because he wasn't talking about being Muslim, you know, three, four years ago when he was running out with King Von. So I found it very interesting that just a week or so ago, he was praying and doing his Salat on camera. And I'm like, what is this about? It To me, it felt like something was going to go down. Because I know for a fact that the feds had been looking at Dirk for a while. Me and B.L. Sherelle hit on this over two years ago. Especially after the FBG duck situation. That's what I really thought he was going to get popped on but he got popped on a whole nother situation. So before I break all of that down, I wanna go ahead and play you guys this flashback. We're gonna go ahead and watch this. This is from my stream seven days ago. That you have to realize with a lot of these celebrities is that once they want to turn a new leaf, once they know that trouble is coming or that the money is running low, notice how they'll change their disposition. They'll either run to go find religion They'll run to find consciousness and become more woke. Or they'll just run to, you know, like Diddy, change, change his whole name and persona. But when it's something that drastic, I have to give it the side eye, especially when it comes to these celebrities. Because when you have to do things for social media validation and on camera, to me, it doesn't come off as genuine. Prime example, I'm sitting here. Yes, I have a little thigh out, a little whatever top this is. You know what I mean? People need to understand that it's a relationship between me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And that's who all I have to answer to, and that's that. Don't be deceived. True Christians follow the teachings of Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The tea I'm hearing on Little Dirt is that they might be getting him on a Rico for that FBD duck situation. So he's on live during the whole Muslim prayer, which to me, why, why is this being shown? Like, you're supposed to pray in private. You know what I'm saying? That's between you and Allah. Like, I, my mom is Muslim, so I'm talking from somebody who has a Muslim mother. My mom has never felt the need to be like, turn on the camera, T, so I can pray. Like, what? <laughs> When I see people changing like that and publicly trying to make things public, I do I do have to question it. And it's no disrespect. That's just me having common sense and discernment. Because again... All right, so y'all just watched that flashback. And less than seven days later, Little Dirk was popped, okay? And I'm going to definitely go back and also explain further why I included Black China in that. You know, I didn't want to make that stream too long by talking about Black China, but we'll come back to her in a bit. Now, as far as this little Dirk situation, it is insane, everything that's going on, because a lot of this stuff was foretold in the music. Um, there's been a lot of things coming his way. That's why I believe that he was really putting his Muslim religion out there. He's been Muslim for a while, but like I said in my live stream, you know, three, four, five years ago, he wasn't rapping about being a Muslim. He wasn't rapping about doing Salat. He wasn't rapping about any of that stuff. It was all about, you know, sliding and, you know, doing dirt and everything else, his ops. And now shit is real. And what's crazy, what is very crazy is how disingenuous social media is. Social media is so disingenuous. Right now, damn Dirk is trending all over Twitter. People are just, you know, so shocked that this happened. And, you know, Dirk, you got money. Why would you even get involved in something like this? But let me remind y'all, because, again, social media has such a short attention span. 
not even a few years ago, right, after King Von died. Everybody was running around talking about Slide for Vaughn because of Takashi 6 9 People were promoting this. This was in a song. Every time Dirk would come on social media, you would see people writing Slide for Vaughn. Let me go ahead and refresh y'all's memory. The man got shot. He not coming back. Go get a gun and get some get back. You a bitch. Did you guys notice that, um, that subliminal message in there? Let me go back a bit. It says it right here, slide for Vaughn. It's in there for like two seconds. Slide for Vaughn, subliminally, and on top of what he's saying. So a lot of these record labels know what they're doing. They know what they're instigating between these rappers. And the whole situation to me is insane. You'll never get me to feel bad for a King Vaughn, who we coined a serial killer on our podcast, me and BL Sherell did. Um, this is a man who took many people's lives, and like I said, if the shoe was on the other foot, and it was it was King Von's boys sliding for him, and they would have killed Little Tim and Quando Rondo, the internet would have been celebrating. But because it was the team that wasn't as popular, now y'all want Little Tim's head. Like I said, Little Tim is a shooter. This is what all these rappers talk about, having shooters and hitters. And finally, somebody did what the hell they were supposed to do, and it's an issue. King Von was the sole reason for his demise. He started the mess. He started fighting Quando Rondo. And Lil' Tim ended up shooting. Remember, several men died that day. It wasn't just King Von that died on his own. Several men died. Lil' Tim was shot. It was a mess. So I believe what happened is that all the pressure on Dirk, because again, this is what Dirk raps about. He's about that life. You know, Dirk has been known to do all, a lot of stuff back in his days when he was in Chicago and he was coming up. And so... The pressure of social media, him having to keep up this rep, led him to make some foolish decisions. He went and hired people to help him slide for Vaughn. A man who literally caused his own demise. I mean, the whole situation is insane. You can't make this stuff up. But I initially thought that he was really going to be popped for FBD Duck because that whole situation links back to Vaughn. A bunch of OTF people were arrested a few years ago behind that killing. And a lot of stuff leads back to the money, which is Little Dirk. And if you guys don't know, Mama Duck, she came out and she was basically calling out Little Dirk and saying that he had something to do with the murder of her son and that she was suing Little Dirk and I believe the record labels as well. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this news clip really quick. It's been four years since Chicago rapper FBG Duck was killed and his mother's pain is still raw. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him and the life that was taken from him. FBG Duck, whose real name was Carlton Weekly, was gunned down on the Gold Coast by a group of masked men as he waited to enter the Dolce & Gabbana store August of 2020. His girlfriend, Cashay Williams, and another man also wounded in the attack. They joined Weekly's mother in filing a lawsuit Wednesday, alleging rap superstar Lil Durk had a hand in the gang-related killing, wanting to take out Weekly. Their years-long rivalry playing out in a series of violent drill rap songs. Our complaint of law lays out that a $100,000 bounty was placed on the life of FBG Duck to have him killed. The lawsuit names a wide-ranging list of defendants, including Lil Durk, his record label, Only the Family, or OTF, and other larger labels that partnered with OTF, like Sony and UMG Interscope. Attorney Roosevelt Allen saying the larger labels welcome artists engaging in criminal activity, putting profit over human life. They want authenticity, which has bred these type of individuals getting in the music business, carrying out their activities, and the record label companies are fueling it, financing it, developing brands for them. Earlier this year, six purported gang members were convicted of carrying out Weekly's murder. Allen saying with this lawsuit, he hopes others who knowingly promoted violence will be held accountable. That's where it crosses the line when you take it from the music and you take it to the public and the streets and you kill someone we contacted representatives for Lil Durk, Sony, and UMG Interscope Records, but have not received a response. Watch breaking. All right, so you guys just saw that, and that was literally two weeks ago. So I felt like they were getting closer 
to come in after Dirk, okay? For at least for that situation. Now, everything that's going on is insane because you know, I get where Mama Duck is coming from, but let's not act like your own son didn't perpetuate the same bullshit. Let's not act like your own son wasn't introduced to the world, you know what I'm saying, making diss tracks, talking about ops and shootings, you know what I mean? So a lot of these guys are getting into this industry and the whole thing is keeping it real, but then once things are kept real, not everybody wants to play crazy. You know, once things are too real, not everybody wants to act like they don't know where all this realness came from. Well, look in the music. Look at the things they've been talking about over the years. It should shock no one. I do feel like these record labels do play a part in this because they love Black Death. They know that when these young rappers die or get locked up, their music sales are going to go up. So they don't really care. You know, they have a vested interest for a short time and they move on to the next. Now, what's also even more crazy is that shortly after that lawsuit came out, Little Dirk was, was also given the keys to the city of Chicago. And this kind of surprised me because it's like you have so many people in Chicago who are actually putting in work, never been in trouble, trying to help the youth. And you give somebody who helped to perpetuate drill culture, let's call it what it is, in Chicago, you give him the key to the city. This is no different than Mayor Eric Adams giving Diddy a key to the city with all the chaos and nonsense that he did in New York City for him to get a key to the city is a slap in the face and they eventually took that key back so let me go ahead and play you guys this video of little Dirk getting a key to the city not even a week or so ago this is just insane so you see here it says rapper little Dirk gets keys to Broadview and Bellevue prompting some backlash so that was him there in his Muslim garb here with the teenagers so I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the video um, of the ceremony as well. So Dirk Banks, also known as Lil Dirk, it brings me great honor and pleasure as the mayor of the village of Broadview to present this key. And so on behalf of the village of Broadview, we are honored to present this key to the city to Dirk Banks Neighborhood Heroes. This key is a token of our appreciation for your collaboration and partnership on today's date, October 18, 2024. Let this key keep you humble, let this key make you stronger, and let this key enlight all of our young people, our Broadview Young Scholars, we're here because of them. So we thank you and we honor you and we appreciate you being in the village of Broadview and here's your key. On behalf of the village of Bellwood, we are honored to present this key to the city, to Dirk Banks, Neighborhood Heroes. This key is a token of our pre appreciation for your collaboration and partnership. Thank you. Child. All right, so you guys just saw that. Again, people be so mesmerized by celebrity and famous people, they throw all common sense out the window. This is a man who literally, with his crew, OTF and uh, O-Block and Chief Keith, Little Reese, remember they all came out during the drill era of 2012, who literally terrorized Chicago, okay, who helped to rise the murder rates, and now they're giving him the key to the city. Very interesting. So now let me go ahead and read to you guys the reports that are coming out because they are saying that there is a snitch in Dirk's camp. But I think Dirk knew that because even in his latest song called Federal Nightmares, he was saying the same thing. So y'all just heard those lyrics. He's saying there's no point in getting a lawyer if your homie told, you know, your homie will be on the stand with his head down like he don't know you. So I think Dirk knew for a while that this day was coming, that these chickens were coming home to roost, okay? So this is what's being reported. They're saying court documents reveal OTF members snitched on little Dirk. Dirk. Little Dirk, known as Dirk Banks, faces murder for hire charges after being allegedly implicated by a member of his hip-hop group Only the Family, aka OTF. According to the indictment filed in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, the 32-year-old Grammy-nominated artist was arrested in Florida on Thursday and is currently being held in Broward County Jail awaiting transfer to the U.S. Marshals. The charges are tied to a larger federal case surrounding a plot to target Georgia-based rapper Quando Rondo, reportedly in retaliation for the 2020 killing of Chicago rapper King Von, a very close friend and collaborator of Banks. This recent indictment has sparked significant attention due to the alleged betrayal within OTF involving an informant who reportedly cooperated with the authority for years. 
The informant, identified as OTF member Jam, allegedly wore a hidden wire for several years to, to gather evidence for the authorities. Jam, who was released from prison in 2022 after serving 12 years for attempted murder, reportedly provided information directly linking banks to the murder for hire scheme against, Ron against Rondo born Tyquarian Terrell Bowman. And that is OTF Jam right here. Um, then they go on to talk about, child, y'all know King Yella, honey. He always got something to say. Chicago rapper King Yella is also talking about OTF Jam. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what he has to say right here. Lil Dirk been picked up by the feds. I don't know if he's been charged with nothing. Probably questioning it. Uh, they put in OTF and a lot of things. Uh, but I heard somebody named OTF Jam. They said they've been calling him a rat. Rat, 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 rat. And basically he said, okay, I'm a rat. Well, watch this. Watch this. That All this information that I know. Rat this. I'm going to tell this. I'm going to tell that. Um, my video earlier, I told y'all, man. If somebody say Dirk name, that's all it's going to take to say that man's name. And obviously, like I said earlier, too, if they come, they coming. They ain't coming just because they want to. Ooh, they coming and they feel they got you. These people will do you in. Now they got, they look like the same with the O Block 5, and now they pick up somebody else. So now they got the OTF 5, and then they pick up somebody else, which is who? Look there. <laughs> All right, so you guys just watched that short clip. So this entire situation is crazy. It's going to be a lot more coming out. But like I said, it's very interesting how social media, a lot of these guys on social media are trying to act like they're so hurt behind him getting locked up and they're so shocked. But again, these were the same outlets who instigated the whole slide for Vaughn, who were, you know, platforming Takashi 6 9 you know, who thought it was all fun and games. But the streets are the streets. You know what I'm saying? And when people come from the streets, they live by the streets. And so I just hope that little Dirk knows that, you know, unfortunately he allowed social media and street culture to get him into a situation that he did not need to be in. Okay. He could have kept it on wax, but again, having to play into that persona, he decided to pay these guys to be hitmen. And let's also not forget that even after it was done, Dirk was not moving smart. He was also dropping diss tracks towards Quando Rondo. He was also using the clip of uh, Quando when his cousin had gotten killed and he was yelling no. Um, little Dirk used that in a song. You know, so it's like you're literally leaving breadcrumbs for the feds. It's sad. Just like when King Von, after he had killed somebody, he was on camera eating cereal and, you know, laughing about it. Like, there's like a demonic spirit that's just around hip hop at this point. It's really, really sad. So remember, this was the video of Quando Rondo when he found out about his cousin dying. He was in the car and they missed Quando. They ended up killing his cousin, Little Pab. I know what you I know what you have. So then after that video went viral, this is the song that Little Dirt dropped concerning the shooting. Man, Lil Dirk did not hold back in this new lead diss track. He even sampled Quando crying after he found out his friend passed. Let me know what y'all think about this. All right, so you guys just saw this snippet of that song. So again, when keeping it real and keeping it gangster goes wrong. And again, this is not like shade or like to be mean or on some I told you so I really think this is sad like I've personally have met Dirk and he's a really nice guy in person but you don't know what people do behind the scenes and what they're involved in but he was very nice when I met him and it's just like it, it's sad that it got to that point I really wished that after the King Von situation he would have just kind of sat down and reflected and understood that you know maybe that was a message from Allah telling you that you need to sit down, that the way that you're moving is crazy. You know, sometimes death has a way of sending messages to people, 
But I think between social media, these personas, the record labels, and people wanting folks to be so real and gangster, that got into his head. And he felt like he had to do this. He had to slide for Vaughn. And like I always tell you guys, once the feds are involved, that's a 98% conviction rate. He's going to go down. They're talking about he's possibly looking at the death penalty. I mean, this is this is insane. But it just shows you like how real it is out here. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's really sad that a lot of the fans keep up this drama. They stay instigating this. And then when real stuff happens, not everybody wants to play shocked and crazy. And that's why I said I wasn't really buying this new Muslim persona. Again, he's been Muslim for a while. Okay, but... The way he was so loud about it and wearing the garbs and praying on live, I just wasn't buying it. I felt like he was trying to show the feds he was sending a message that he's trying to turn a new leaf. Let's not forget, before things ever hit the public, there is so much murmur going on in the background, especially in celebrity circles. There are things that are being said in the background that you, the public, will never really understand. That is why a lot of times I don't buy a lot of this shit that I see with these celebrities. Because sometimes we're privy to a bigger picture that you all may not see and have access to. This is why I question everything. Even with Black China, people were saying, oh, you're really judging her, she's changed her ways. I'm not saying that she hasn't so-called changed and now she's a Christian and she wants to go by Dr. Angela White. But what I find interesting is when the change happened. Because again, social media has such a short attention span. Remember before she turned into being a super Christian, um, she was being accused of sex trafficking. People forget that. That was just two years ago. There was a girl that came out named Ava Louise. And she was saying that Black China tried to sex traffic her. And Black China was in her DMs. And Ava was coming out with a lot of receipts. So much so that Black China sent her to cease and desist. Then that was swept under the rug. And then a video popped up a while later of some girl supposedly being locked in a hotel room. And she had to run out for her life. And who was in that hotel room with her? Black China. Come on, Jim, let's go. Come on. Yeah, and you're going to stand outside. No, we're not standing over, we're leaving. Yeah. She's crazy. Hey, bro, shut up. No, that's crazy. I don't want to She's crying. Bro, don't do that. Don't do that. Whatever, my. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Come on, baby. It's not your fault. Sorry. It's not you. It's you didn't do this. She did this. I'm not going in there. Her. I wanted to kick the door in. You see that? Okay, cool. I'm not going to just came and helped you out. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Bully, bully. I'm going. I don't want any of you. I don't want anything to do with her. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not you, Jennifer. It's not your fault. She's so She's high on cocaine and crazy. She was telling me it was so rude. I'm sorry, you're scary. I have to be sorry. I'm sorry. You did nothing wrong. She tried to tell us all this shit off and so she gonna kick everybody's ass. I said you ain't kicking nobody's ass who I came with. And then that made her kick me off the room. You're not gonna disrespect me? And then you kept my friend in the room? No, nah, this. Ain't no way, that's right. All right, so you guys just saw that viral clip from 2021. So, so again, for me, I question everything about these celebrities, especially when they do a whole 180. So it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening with the Lil Dirk situation, but I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Feel free to share the video. Don't forget to like the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.